Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video I'm gonna talk about how you can style your google maps in flutter so obviously I'm gonna use um, this plugin which I'm just gonna show you google maps flutter official plugin it's still in developers preview but uh, now I have started using it and I'm exploring all the options um, I feel that it's good enough for me as of now so although it has performance issues for sure especially in android um, but in ios it works pretty fine and there are a few things which uh, some things are available in android some things are missing from ios and some things are available in ios uh, and missing from android like there's a bug that the uh, my location button is available in ios but not in android so there are a few things there are many changes which is happening every day so uh, be ready for that but this google maps plugin supports styling your map so i'm just gonna show you so this is my twitter account where i posted this so as you can see this app which i am working on is the uh, deafest app which you can uh, try from play store or app store uh, links are in the description um have a very different uh, this uh, google maps as you can see this is some reddish google map which is uh, the video is actually telling you that okay um so how we can customize this map so that's the question now what you have to do you don't have to do anything you just have to use this plugin and i am using this uh, particular uh, source code which i'm gonna uh, make available on github very soon so keep watching keep uh, um following me on uh, twitter facebook instagram wherever you want and I'll definitely let you know when this source code will be public. So what I have been using here, I am using the same plugin, which is this Google Maps Flutter plugin. And uh, this is the code, which is kind of very much similar, which you will see to this uh, repository or this plugin uh, page, the instructions you can use from here. And then once my code is published, then you can uh, maybe copy and paste uh, from there as well. So what you need to do, exactly to achieve that is you have to create some json files to achieve that uh, particular thing let me show without that how my app looks like so this is my deafest app which i have been working on as you can see it has this locate us button and i'm gonna just click on it so this is the normal google map which is very much uh, what you have seen and um, it's different from uber or other alternatives but because of the uh, style their maps and now as you can see even if I go to dark mode it looks pretty same and uh, it doesn't feel good so if you are uh, doing something like giving multiple themes then you obviously want to customize your map maybe it, it, it's totally your choice although so I'm just gonna show you so we will go to a website which is map style dot with google dot com here you can select uh, the roads what uh, what is the level of roads which you want to see here you can also customize the landmarks as you can see on the right hand side landmarks will be totally invisible if i'll just uh, move this slider to this left hand side and then on the right hand sides all the landmarks are visible and then some of them and then well, very less of them okay similarly if we talk about the labels then all the labels are on if you will go to this position then some of them then uh, very uh, less of them maybe the only the highlighted ones like seattle um, and uh, a little bit like harbor island and all that and if you'll just disable it then nothing is visible now by default they give you few modes which is uh, a silver one uh, a retro one a dark one and the night one and this is something called aubergine i don't know how to pronounce it but uh, this is what i have on so we can use the silver one which looks pretty cool you can do the customization according to your need and we can also try the dark one or the night one it's totally your choice once you select all of that then you just have to press finish and it will give you some code which i cannot see right now i don't know why okay this is selected the standard one so i have to select let's say silver and then i select finish and it will give me this json i'll just copy this json now i'll go here and i'll go to my assets folder and here i can just add a file let's say uh light light dot json okay so this is light dot json and i'm just gonna 
paste uh, the code which I copied from there. Okay, this looks fine. Now I'll go to my uh, map page and here I'll make few functions. So what's what's actually happening here? There is a uh, on map created method which is uh, assigning my controller to this Google map controller. Then there is something called change map mode so that whenever I want to change the map, let's say dark mode or night mode, then I can do it here. So change map mode. Uh, also it is called in build if the map is already created then it can directly call it and I am just uh, making this uh, boolean to true when the map is created okay and uh, then change map mode is right now blank now I am gonna make few methods first of all I want to access that json file so how I can do that I'll make a method uh, let's say future it will return a string and I can say get uh, json file okay and then i can just give a path to it and then uh, for retrieving a json file uh, let's make it uh, a sync as well and then you can use a wait so for uh, receiving this json file you need to use root bundle okay and root bundle which we, you can get from this services package so uh, you can use that and then you have something called load string now you have to give the name of the string so we can just say path okay so when you once you get this get json file then what you can do you can assign it to your uh let's say the um, uh, controller okay so that controller has this uh, set map style method which you can use so uh, another method let's say set map uh, style let's say we are naming this method and here we will pass the map style and then we can use our controller which is basically a google map controller and uh, it has something called set map style and you can just pass the map style here that's that's all uh, you have to do now as you can see we have to return this as well so i will just write return and now in the change map mode what we are going to do First of all, we will access the JSON file. So get JSON file, we have to give the path. So it's in the assets slash, the na name is light.json. So light.json is what I can say. And then, so dot then, or you can await it and then you can do whatever you want to do. Then I want to call. So this then returns me a string and I want to call this uh, set map style. So I can directly say set map map style okay and boom so that's all you need to do now um, now if I just refresh this browser you can see we have okay I just uh, did a hot restart locate us and you can see we have this uh, what we call a normal silver mode silver mode okay now let's see if we can change it so we will go to this dark one and we can finish it and we can copy this json now i can just paste this json rather than that uh, i'm not going to change the name to uh, light or uh, to dark from light now if i'll just press hot uh, and you can see just hot reload and this is the dark mode all it does not look good but um, it, it is fine now let's try this uh, night mode which is also good finish and just copy json and then um, i can just copy and paste it here and let's try to do a hot reload and now okay this is the night mode which is much more uh, beautiful you can say now i'm gonna apply one more thing which is according to the um, according to the theme of my app i'm gonna select that particular uh, json file okay so in the light.json file i'm just gonna go to the silver one and i'm just gonna copy again this json and i'm gonna paste it back to light.json now i'm gonna make another one which is let's say uh, dark.json dark.json and uh, i will choose the night mode from here which is much better than the dark the uh, normal dark and i'm gonna paste it here now in my code i'm gonna check if so this is something which uh, you might not be familiar once this code will be online you can check it 
So from my config block, I can check whether the dark mode is on or not. If it is on, then I'm gonna do something. Let's say this, else I will um, do something else. Let's say this. And here I'm gonna just replace it with dark, okay? Now, as you can see, this is currently light mode. So light uh, theme is showing. Now I'll click on the bulb and it's dark. So that's how you can work with it. Now I'll show you how you can customize everything. So once you will go to the JSON file, then you will see a lot of things. First of all is the element type. So there are different type of elements which you can see. So one is geometry, another one is uh, labels. Then you will have administrative land, okay, poi, and then park, road, water, everything. So you have all the elements here. Now you can, um, so if you'll see here, then it, there, there's a feature type as well, like water is a feature type then element type then you can have stylers different stylers they have properties like color they have properties like uh, visibility they have properties like uh, lightness you can give a proper lightness so let me just show you this so for uh, if i'll go to back to the silver mode you will see there is no icon any icon right like like if we go to dark mode there are many icons like this uh, shoreline lake bot bot house shoreline amphitheater and all that so you'll see that in label.icons the visibility is off so i'm just gonna make it on and now i'll do a hot reload and as once i'll go to the silver mode again now you can see the icons as well so this is how you can customize it okay if you want to change something let's say uh, you want to change the geometry color so you can change let's say i'm gonna go with 636363 i don't it's some weird color but uh, let's try just do a hot reload and you can see the color has been changed so this is how you can customize it so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna paste uh, two of my customizations and then we will see if uh, that looks fine so here is the day mode and here's the night mode i'm gonna bring both of them to my vs code obviously oh what's happening and i'm just gonna paste it here okay so now i have day mode and night mode so I'm just going to say night mode dot JSON and day mode dot JSON. Okay. Now I'll refresh it and it looks much better. Yeah. So this is the silver one. And once you will go dark mode, this is the reddish one, which looks perfect. I guess. I mean, for me at least. Yes. And so this is how you can customize it. And this is, if I'll go to any of them, let's say, uh, the day mode then you can see i have adjusted some lightness okay you have landscape highway lightness is there weight is there so these are the properties which you can see so this source code will be available very soon please be updated on my social media accounts i'll let you know and uh, thanks uh, for watching if you enjoyed it then press the like button also subscribe to the channel if you want to see such videos in future and also let me know uh, your comments about this and uh, press the bell icon as well because you'll get the future updates from here you can try this dev fest from the links below in the description uh, the app is available on both android and ios and i'm frequently update update uh, updating them so that you can get the latest update and this source code will be open source soon on github so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye bye